Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Here to enjoy as we sit around the fireplace together, we are going to enjoy commemorating all that Jesus is to us and all that we are to him. Now I want you to hear as grandma, that's me, <laughs> read scripture to you and we will enjoy our roasted marshmallows together. And it came to pass, this is Luke chapter 2, and it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria, and all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth unto Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them and the glory of the Lord shone round about them and they were so afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger, and suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. And it came to pass, as the, angel, as the angels were going away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord has made known unto us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all they that heard it wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen as it was told unto them. Isn't that beautiful? I am telling you, this is Pat's two cents now. This is what I love about God. He sat there and he reached to the unknowns, the nobodies of society. People like you and me, you know, we've never held office in the government realm. We've never hung with the higher echelon, the rich and all of that, the rich and famous. And yeah, <laughs> we've pretty much been hanging with the have nots. And, but this is what I love about God. His heart and his love is so far reaching that to him, some of us have more honor than many of them who society looks up to. So God looked at the hearts of the shepherds and he showed them a beautiful, can you imagine the vision they saw of all these angels and how majestic and how miraculous and mesmerizing that must have been. That had to be as unreal as could be. But they got to experience it they were the first to hear about it. Isn't that something? That's what I love about God. God is so, he's so mindful 
of the least of these. And there are people who nobody will ever know that where God will share secrets. He will pour himself into people that don't even know there's something to experience because of their hearts. And because God is pleased with their character, their spirits, and he wants to reveal himself to people. And the people he reveals himself to, people who get revelation, people who have dreams and visions, are ordinary people. You know, there's a song, Ordinary people, God uses ordinary people. He uses people just like you and me who are willing to do as he commands. I'm not trying to sing right now, so I just want you to hear the words. God uses people who will give their all, no matter how small their all might seem to you. Little becomes much when you place it in the master's hand. So no matter how little you think, your gifts are, no matter how insignificant you may think you are. I mean, God will go to peasants. He'll go to, to, uh, to, uh, to midnight shift workers. He'll go to graveyard diggers. He'll go to um, uh, garbage collectors. He'll go to nurses aides. He'll go to, to ordinary people like you and me. Just ordinary people, no names. Society knows nothing about us. But God knows it all. And you're the one and I'm the one that God will reach to, to give a revelation that can change the world. Well, that's what he did with the shepherds. And I hope that blessed your heart to hear it. And now you can pick out on your marshmallows. They ought to be done by now. Check them out. God bless you, and Merry, 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 Merry Christmas. Amen.